Hello everybody, welcome back to Technopedia. In this video, we are gonna see how we can properly root our device, which is Galaxy Note 2. Why we decided to make this video? Uh, as you know guys, so many of our friends were facing lots of issues after flashing new ROMs like the phone doesn't boot or they were stuck in boot loop or even if the ROM boots, there were so many issues and bugs which were not fixing. We got so many comments regarding this and we too were facing this type of errors, especially in CM ROMs. So we decided to do a bit of research and found that the main cause for this was the improper root. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can properly root your device Galaxy Note 2. So without any further ado, let's get started. For this purpose, you will need a laptop or a PC with you because the routing process will require Odin software from Samsung. Okay, so here's our phone guys. Currently, we are on the stock room. Let's confirm it by jumping into the about device. So here's the about device, the model number is N7100, Android version is KitKat 4.4.2 and let's check the status, as you can see the device status says it's official, let me just zoom in, okay, now we are good to go, let's zoom into the model number again, as you can see it's N7100, so we will now turn off our device, make sure it's completely off. wait for two to three seconds and now start your device into the download mode you can do that by pressing volume down home button and the power button simultaneously it's a little bit different from the recovery mode now just press the volume up to continue and pressing the volume up will bring us to the download mode as you can see Android logo and below that we see the downloading mode now just quickly connect your phone to the PC or laptop. So now let's jump into the lappy. Okay, here are the required tools guys. As you can see, we are opening the Odin app. Don't worry, we will paste all the links in the description. As you can see, our phone is detected already. Now just tap on the PDA tab and select the CF auto root file. Make sure we will paste the link in the description so you can grab them easily and you can see here is the rare file which we extracted now just click on open make sure you don't check any of these options just keep it default as you can see the auto reboot and the f reset time must only be checked and as we have selected the PDA we are getting the access Make sure you don't interfere with any other options. Okay, now we are good to go. Just tap on start button and the flashing process will start. As you can see. Okay, from Odin we are done. Now we will move to the phone again and see how it's doing. Okay, as you can see, CF Auto Root is working. Okay, so the phone is rebooting guys. Make sure you don't disconnect the device until it gets booted. Okay, let's hope it works. Okay, here's our Samsung loop. Oops. What just happened? I think it restarted. I think we did everything right, so it must boot. Let's see. Okay, let's see if it's booting or not. Okay, so we are good to go. As you can see, our phone has started. Now you can disconnect your phone from the laptop or PC. Okay, now we will check if we have got the root access or not. We can do this by downloading an easy app which says root checker, I think so. We'll search it on the Play Store. Okay, here's our Play Store. We'll quickly just type in root checker. Okay. So here we go, we'll install the first app. 
we accept okay okay guys so root checker app has installed we will open it now and see if we have got the root access or not in this agree this okay now we will verify our root okay we will grant access to the root checker and voila it says we have the root access so that's a great thing now once we are done with the root we need to install a custom recovery for the purpose we will be installing twrp we will quickly search for the twrp manager okay which one it is oh the second one twrp manager it specifies that it will require root which we have so that's a nice thing okay so the app is installed now we will just quickly open it where's our app okay here we go okay starting we will need to set the permission and grant ex root access to it okay you don't have easy box installed that's not a problem we'll click on don't show again so this is the twrp manager guys now just tap on the little button which is presented on the bottom right okay and we will choose install twrp okay once we have selected install twrp we need to set our device so we'll just type in note and search for the note 2 uh, there's a warning it doesn't accept spaces that's not a problem so here's our phone guys as you can see note 2 and 700 make sure you select the correct version now we will just search for the latest twrp version which you want to install so currently it's 3.0.2 now just tap on install recovery and it will do its task so as it's downloading we'll be back in some time once it's done okay guys so we are done now just now we just need to press yes oops it said something went wrong let's see if it's working or not everything was right i think it must work okay guys so as you can see we have successfully installed the team in recovery you can see installed apps working everything looks fine we'll just reboot our system once so this was it guys thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button